Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, I'm Sarah Meeks, physical therapist, and this is Christina, who's going to uh, help me demonstrate a exercise called the core lift bridge. It's a little different than maybe you've ever done bridging, as they call it, before, um, and because it involves stabilization and also holding it uh, once we get into the position. So what I'm going to do, because my major focus is always on alignment of the spine, no matter what exercise we're doing, that she likes to use just a small support underneath her neck to maintain the curve of the neck, which is of course the upper part of the spine. Now, the starting position is in the decompression exercise position. So she brings her arms out to the side, bends her hips and knees, and places her feet uh, on the foot triangle of support, so she's got the support of her feet. We want to have the knees apart, about hip distance apart, there, and there are many people who are unable to keep that position. If they can't keep that position, for example, it's common for people to try to put their knees together to have one knee support the other. So in that case, I can take a rolled up towel or something like this, which is a yoga block, and have them hold the yoga block there and keep the legs apart. Now, she doesn't need this, but the yoga blocks are nice because they have three different dimensions. They have a narrow one, and then a medium one, and then a long one. So depending upon the width of the pelvis of the person you're dealing with, a yoga block is very handy for this, for this exercise if they can't control the position of their knees. So the first thing I have people do is to uh, Focus on their breath. I always want them to start by just focusing on their breath. And I did pick up an idea from another therapist recently, is not to try to force the breath, but just let the breath come naturally to you. Your body will breathe whether you think about it or not. Just let it do it. But when you're starting to exercise, what I like to have people do is to breathe in as they're getting ready to do the movement, and then breathe out as they're doing the movement. And when they're holding the movement, then they breathe evenly during the movement, okay? So this core lift bridge involves some stabilization first. So I'm going to have her do the shoulder press. So if you breathe in and as you breathe out, you press your shoulders down in the shoulder press position. Then the next thing you do is stabilize with your abdominals. You just draw your belly button away from my hand without rounding your lower back. Your, your lower back should not change. And then we also squeeze a little bit in the groin so we can hold our legs in the position that we're starting with. And then we have the feet on the foot triangle, so we're using that for stabilization also. So as we do this movement, what she's going to do is take a breath, keeping the stabilization points, then she's going to lift her hips up to the point where if I were to take this booyah stick, um, go ahead and lift up and put it next to her body here, this line would go through her shoulders, her hips, and her knees. She has a straight line. And just to make sure that you get that idea, I'm just going to move around and show you on the other side where you can see it a little better, that we want this, and there may be a shift in the pelvis a little bit, depending upon the strength, that we can see that she's a little bit lower on this left hip than she is on the right, so she wants to lift up a little bit more so we have the straight line. So you want to maintain your breathing, and then I do something I call reposturing. This is a yoga posture. And so I have her go back and make sure that she's got a little arch in her neck. She's got her shoulders pressed down. She's got her, her hips lifted. She's tightening her abdominals. Her palms are turned upward and she's pressing with her feet and breathing evenly. You okay with this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this is a very uh, strengthening posture for the lower back. 
the hips, uh, the, uh, the lower extremities, even the quadriceps, uh, and so on. So take another deep breath and then slowly lower down to the table. Now, sometimes people get cramps in their legs if they do an exercise like that. And if they do, they may need to use, uh, they may need to put some kind of a roller or something under their legs for starters. So usually when people come out of the bridge, I have them straighten their legs, press out. Now, we've had this on earlier videos and lengthen the legs out, just stretch out, stretch out and then just let the legs relax, breathe as you integrate the effects of this posture. So that's a demonstration of the core lift bridge. And um, if you try it and you have problems, please do not hesitate to send me an email uh, and we can discuss any problems you might have with it. Thank you for watching and thank you, Christina, for being an excellent model today. Um, well, Every day. I want to say thank you to you, Sarah, for your many years of dedication to researching and studying and teaching all about osteoporosis. Wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you for watching.